Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's The Coffee Run Live. I wanted to just chat with you a little bit this morning about content. Now, I think for almost everyone, I'm trying to think if there's an exception, uh, I don't think there is an exception. For almost every single person, I have worked with, and I say almost every single person because I can't think of one person that hasn't had this issue. Every single person I've worked with has had an issue when it comes to creating content. And they get stuck between this sort of like push-pull between, well, like how much do I share? How much business content do I share? Good morning, let me know that you can hear me. Uh, how much stuff do I do? What do I put out there? How many times do I post? Hi, Sarah, and all the rest of it. Now. The great news for you is that there happens to be content everywhere, right? If you if you think about it, there's content inspiration everywhere, there are content topics everywhere. It doesn't matter whether you're a psychologist, whether you're a nutritionist, whether you're an author, whether you're an accountant, it doesn't matter what it is that you actually do. The thing, and I, I harp on about this all the time, the thing that is going to help people resonate with you, the thing that is going to help you be uh, like basically cut through the noise and be seen and be heard is by the sharing of both the, the businessy type content and the other stuff as well. So the other stuff is where the gold is, right? It, it's that stuff where people will be like, Yes, we can share the one, two, three, this is how you do the thing, these are the steps, this is the advice, these are the three things that you can do right now to like overcome overwhelm or whatever. But anybody can talk about that. From the other side of things, what we've got is we've got this ability for you to be able to look at the things around you or the experiences that you're having and be able to use them for content. So I thought I might give you a, a, a bit of an example this morning because you know, why the heck not? I have two. So the first one is, you know, I, I think what's really important and one of the things that I really feel, well, actually, one of the things that just pisses me off if I'm blunt, actually, which I can be blunt sometimes, apparently. Uh, the thing that really pisses me off is when other people, women, actually, when other women pass judgment or make these, you know, flat out claims about how other women should be, you know, about like, oh, like what's real or what's not, or she, like real women do this, real women do this. And I'm like, oh, fuck that actually. Now, I put a post up yesterday that had a fair, it's had a fair bit of interaction. It's kind of fun. Uh, and, and the reason that I put this post up, there's a photo of me, there's some smoke behind me. It's all fun. It's one of the photos that I had at the photo shoot on the Gold Coast a couple of weeks ago. And three weeks ago, I think now, nearly two weeks, maybe two weeks. And one of the reasons that I put this post up was I, I'd been to skating yesterday and I had done a full four hours of off skate training, coaching, skating. It's full on, like four hours of skating is, or three and a half hours of skating by the time you, you know, do pre-skate warm up and stuff. It's a lot of skating and it is the best fun ever and I just love it, but I was, you know, feel like I have to justify anything. Came home and I was like, Phew, I'm exhausted. My husband was out at baseball. My other two kids were hanging out in their rooms, chatting to their friends and doing whatever. My oldest daughter was in her room doing her thing, her little house over, over that we've got on our property. That sounded really wanky. We don't have another house on our property. We have got like a granny flat that she lives in. Uh, just to, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have two houses on our property. Uh, what an idiot. I don't even know why I said that. That's really random. Uh, but anyway, so I, I've come home and I ate all of the things because I was so hungry. So I had a peanut butter bagel, vegan butter, of course, because, you know, vegan life. I had, what did I have? I had a, a lettuce burger with all the yummy things in it. And I had some soup. Like I was, I was starving hungry. And so I was like, okay, now I'm exhausted. I feel like I really need a bath. So I'm in the bath and I don't know what you guys do in the bath. Generally, I might, I, I like the idea of reading a book and I take a book in with me and I never read it. I never look at it. I always end up, you know, stuck in my phone. Um, it's really naughty, but anyway, it's not naughty. Uh, but I was looking through these, I was just scrolling through my newsfeed on Facebook as you do. And there was a post that jumped out at me by a woman who I, I'm friends with on Facebook. I don't know her personally. 
and she put up this post saying uh, that everyone, like it was this big blanket statement basically, like every woman, you are perfect as you are, you need to stop with, this wasn't aimed at me, it was just a general post, right? But it was, you need to stop with the lashes, stop with the fillers, stop with the makeup, stop with the fake shit, uh, stop this, stop that, rah, 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 rah. And I've just kind of gone, oh, hell no. <laughs> you did not just say that publicly uh, on Facebook. I thought, fuck that shit. You know, to me... And the reason that it riled me up is because I'm just like, you know, who am I to say what you should or shouldn't do? You know, why should somebody else dictate what you should or shouldn't do? Why should anybody else dictate what you should or shouldn't say, whether you should have fillers or lashes or plastic surgery or like eye enhancements or a boob job or fake tan or like fucking whatever. Seriously, it's nobody else's business but your own. And part of the reason that this riled me up is like, I think we get hard enough as women, we get a hard enough time as it is from the media, from, from everyone else with, with all of the things that we basically have thrown at us every day about what the perfect woman should look like. And it's like, no, actually you're amazing no matter what size and shape you are, whether or not you decide to have lashes or not, whether you decide to have fillers or not, whether or not you decide to have Botox, like I couldn't really give a shit. The thing for me that I think is so incredibly important is that you find a way to feel really confident in, in the way that you can feel confident, right? And I don't care if it means that you have lashes on, if you have your boobs done, if you have a tan, if you wear a, you know, a face full of makeup when you go to the gym, do whatever floats your boat, girlfriend. Like, I think that's, you know, I, I might not make certain choices and you might not make certain choices that I make. And that's great. We're all individual, more power to you. So I saw this post and I was incensed. I'm like, <laughs> like I had to, I had to put a post up basically saying, fuck this shit. That, that's not okay. Uh, I didn't comment on her post. I, I didn't, you know, I haven't referenced it or, or anything like that. I didn't even screenshot it. I can remember who it was though. And um, I just thought this is a really interesting thing to observe. And the reason that I think it, it hit a nerve for me yesterday was because of skating. So skating yesterday, and one of the things that I love about uh, our skate fit program and I love about roller derby actually in general is the culture that is more prevalent than not. And, and, and I have, like league to league is different. It's the same as anything, right? Uh, but the thing that's really awesome about roller derby and about roller skating is that it's, it's inclusive, right? We're inclusive. We don't care what shape, size you are. We just want you to uh, like come, have fun, skate, do whatever, like and, and work to the best of your ability. And every, every session at the end of the session, we always do our little circle of love, which is really awesome. And we'll say, we always ask every skater, what's the best, most awesomest thing about today? And what is something really cool that you've noticed about someone else? Uh, whether it's an improvement or just something they did really well or uh, whatever, because the, the part of the thing, and I, and I think we don't do this collectively very well, actually. I, I think, particularly in Australia, I think we're not very good at, I will let me rephrase that, I think we can get better at lifting each other up and saying, hey, you know, I think you did a really great job with that. You know, I really love what you're saying there. Yes, like I I hear you. I think we, we tend to get a little bit we assume, and, I, and I'm guilty of this as well, right? And, and I, I know that I don't, I do this really well with my clients, but outside of my clients, I, I don't feel like I, I, I reckon there's room for improvement for me. I think that we don't comment publicly necessarily saying, you know, hey, you're really awesome, or hey, I, I really love what you did there, or hey, you know, just simple things like I really love what you did with your hair, or I, I you know, you look like you're glowing, or, you know, whatever the fuck it happens to be. You know, I think that we can get a whole lot better at boosting each other up, particularly other women boosting each other up. And I think, but part of the thing for me 
is that I hear this all the time in, and I've been, I've been coaching and, and skating for years. And one of the things that always comes up is the same thing that tends to come up when I'm in a room and I'm delivering and, and I do the same thing with clients. Every time I'm with clients, I'm like, what's the best, most awesomest thing? And you know, what's something really awesome you've seen about someone else? I don't always do that second pick, but always the best, most awesomest thing. And you know what? It's, it's really lovely. And it's so rewarding to hear people say, I felt really safe, I felt really included, I, I can't believe that there are such nice people around. <laughs> and it kind of made me makes me realize all the time that, you know, shit, like these there's a there's a whole lot of people out there that, you know, are are either um not very nice or they don't build a nice culture. Right, and I think this is something that we can that we've got to get better at doing um, collectively. It is building an, an empowering culture where we don't judge, where we're not saying, "Hey, you should do this," or "Hey, you should do that," or "Hey, you should wear this," or "Hey, you should wear that," or "Look, you need to lose weight," or "Hey, you need to gain weight," or "Hey, you know, whatever the heck, you know, be more natural. You're beautiful as you are." Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much. And this is how I choose to show up. So. You know, that was just one example, actually sort of like two examples of, of using things that you see for content. Now, the post that I put up yesterday that, that talked in, that spoke into this, hey, Tracy, the thing that spoke into this was not about, it wasn't about business. It had nothing to do with me selling a program. I didn't even think that I would even talk about it today, but it kind of, I've, I've had messages and I've had comments and, and this, that, and the other, and I'm just kind of like, okay, right, well, this is obviously something that people want and need. And, and I think what's really important about that is that because even though I had nothing to do with business, what it does is it shows you, and this is what I want you to go and have a look at for yourselves, it shows you what my values are. It shows you what I advocate for. It shows you what I stand for. It shows you what I stand against. It shows you, even though I didn't turn around and tell that whole entire story yesterday, I just basically, you know, said, this is horseshit. This is what you should do. Um, Oh, in my view of the world, you don't even have to listen to me. You might not even agree with me, and that's totally fine, Mike. It's, that's the, the beauty of, of living in the society that we live in at the moment. But the point here is that you can find, and I challenge you today, and I'll lay down a challenge for you today. I want you to go into Facebook, and I want you to give yourself a maximum of 10 minutes of scrolling time. And I want you to find something in your news feed, at, at, like set a timer so that you don't get sucked into the black hole of time, all right? Set yourself a timer for 10 minutes. And I want you to find something in your news feed that either really motivates the heck out of you or pisses you off or has you kind of go, hmm, well, this really made me think. And then what your job is. So the first thing is go find a post that you that, that 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 activates you in some way, shape, or form. So it doesn't have to be a negative activation. It could be a positive activation, right? A post that inspires you or pisses you off or whatever. The second thing I want you to do is to write two paragraphs. Don't have to be big ones. Two paragraphs on something about that post. Now you don't have to reference it. Don't screenshot it. You don't have to. You don't have to say, oh, well, I saw this post, you know, blah, 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 person. You can if you wish, but you don't have to. And then go back and, and put these two, two paragraphs together and then go publish it up on your page. Find a photo that goes with it and put it up on your page. Um, ideally, I'd love it for it to be a photo of you. Doesn't have to be, but in an ideal world, remember, like everything that we're talking about is, is all about your, uh, like your face is your logo, right? So that's a huge thing that I want you to be, be getting better at is, is putting yourself out there, putting your face out there and things like that. So part of the, um, part of the other thing that I want you to think about is when, when you're doing this, what you're communicating are the things that are important to you. And when you're communicating, even though you're saying, you know, these are the things that are really important to me, you're not going out there saying that specifically, but you're letting your audience know what is important to you by the way that you create your content. It's not just the business stuff. Now, please don't go and put in this particular post and you're welcome to share the link over on here. Put it on here. Let me see it. I'd love to see it. Uh, and that's not just some 
horseshit bullshit throwaway thing, come in on the bottom of this video and say, hey, here's the post that I put up uh, and link us through. Let us start seeing. Let's start building a bit more community um, because here's the thing that I know. If this, if this is the stuff that's really important to me and if this is the stuff that, that really kind of that lights me up and, and motivates me and inspires me, then I'm pretty sure that this is the stuff that you also, if you're following me, if you're listening, then if you know you, because if you don't agree with me or if you're, I can't, maybe you don't have to agree with me, but generally speaking, like attracts like, right? So if I'm out there talking about this stuff, then you can go out there and you can, you're probably, um, motivated and inspired by this kind of stuff too. So go find a post that resonates with you. I saw I saw another one actually on Saturday while I was doing something. I don't know where I was, probably traveling around the countryside doing all the sporting things. Um, oh, was there, there was a an elephant rescue post that a friend, a friend and client of mine actually put up, an old client of mine, um, put up about these, about these elephants being rehabilitated. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, like elephants are my my favorite, my most favorite animal other than the sloths that I put up the other day. Uh, but elephants, elephants are really, I think they're just amazing. I feel like they're my spirit animal, right? So I saw these um, um, ele elephant posts and I was like, oh my gosh, this is really beautiful. I'd love to go and see. So I might, if I was you and if something like that, you might go, oh, you know, look, I found this and this is why I love it. And this is what I used to think about as a kid, like I, I would talk about, if I was doing that, I would talk about the fact that I wished that I had an elephant as a pet when I was a child and, and I could just keep them in my back garden. I just think they're just the most amazing animals on the planet. So it doesn't have to be uh, a, a, um, a, a piece of writing or a photo or something like that that creates a negative activation in you. It's whatever it is for you. So Challenge set, my friends. Go find a, a, something that you can talk about. Go put a, par a couple of paragraphs up on your page that don't relate to business. Don't put a call to action in it. Don't make it anything other than, hey, you know, this is my thinking around this, blah, blah, blah. Put that out there and then come back and share the link in here. I would love to see it. All right. On that note, I am going to love you and leave you and set you free to get about your Monday. Now, if you are, I am going to do that thing where if you're thinking about or you're wondering how to do this consistently, we have got our, one of my most favorite programs that I've been running nearly for a whole year called Contentology that is starting on Saturday, actually. It's a weekend start this, this time around, which is kind of fun. All you have to do is post every single day on your business page. You'll come back and share it. I'll, I'll give you the prompt on what to post about. And you could go in the running. Well, you will be in the running to win $1,000. So that is that. Other than that, I am going to set you free. Get out there. Go help some people. Have a whole ton of fun doing it. But most of all, remember, that's right. The world is ready for your brand of awesome. Have a great Monday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.